Welcome guys to another KI video. Today I'm going to be showing Jago's 50-50 setup off his 4th throw. And for the example I'm going to be doing 3 jump ins. 2 will hit in the front side and the 3rd one will hit as a cross up. So it's going to be coming up now and the power to the setup is that it looks very ambiguous. So it starts now. 1st jump in, hits in the front side. 2nd, front side again. And the 3rd one is going to cross up as so. Now, the power in it being very ambiguous is just one of them, but another thing to it is that uh, only light DP would beat this specific cell. So I'll show you what I mean on the second jump in, coming up now, and there you go there. So light DP will beat the setup, but the cool thing about the setup is that medium and heavy DP will whiff. So here's coming up is the medium DP, and that whiffs. So here you go again now for the heavy DP. And that whiffs. So, light DP and the EX version will hit this setup, but medium and heavy will whiff. The great thing about the setup is that generally people will go for medium or heavy DP because of its extra invulnerability. The only reason light DP will beat this specific setup is due to hitboxes. Um, just the last thing to go over, uh, backdash will get you out of the setup, so I recommend you OS wing kick or laser sword to catch the backdash of your opponent. Um, that's really it guys. The only thing to keep in mind is light DP and shadow DP will get you out of this setup from all, uh, both angles. But medium and heavy DP will whiff the front hitting ones. Will always hit the cross up ones. They'll never hit the front face hitting ones. That's the only important thing to keep in mind. So um, yeah, this is a pretty reliable setup. I mean, generally I notice people always do medium and heavy DP for the added invulnerability. But in this case, since this seems to be some type of uh, arc or hitbox issue, Light DP is the only one that will get them out. 